So for example, let's just say, you know, I have some students who get to the end of their college careers and they've listened to all my videos and they're like, no offense, Chad, but I'm just sick of the, t you know, sick of your voice, sick of the sound of your voice. Okay. So fair enough. So sometimes I'm sick of the sound of my voice too. So, and maybe you're so sick of the sound of my voice that you want to stab me with a dry erase marker. Okay. So not the greatest choice in the world of, of something to stab me with, but maybe you want to stab me in the arm. You don't want to kill me. You just want to, you know, injure me because uh, you're tired of the sound of my voice. And so you stab me with a dry erase marker. And my question for you is, are you likely to puncture the skin stabbing me with a dry erase marker? Probably not the highest likelihood. You might be like, well, what if I stab you, Chad? with as hard as I can, with the greatest force possible. Well, that will lead to greater pressure, but you're probably still not going to puncture my skin. Because bad choice with the marker, if you want to puncture the skin, you should have chosen something with a smaller surface area over which that force is being applied, because then you get a greater pressure and maybe enough pressure to puncture the skin. Maybe something like the tip of a knife or something might have been good, but I'll, I'll prefer it if you just use the dry erase marker or if you just don't stab me at all. So, but pressure again is proportional to force, but inversely proportional to the surface area over which that force is being applied.